Hi guys, I'm Mike. And I'm Stephen. And this is Indie Fanatics, your home for indie car content with weekly podcasts and feature videos. Welcome back to the channel and to another feature video. Last week we carried on looking at the history of IndyCar in part 2 of the series, so if you haven't already, check that out. But today it's time for another Who Is video, and this week's suggestion comes from Eric Marchesini asking can we do a video on James Hinchcliffe? Well you bet we can Eric. So here it is, it's time to find out Who Is James Hinchcliffe. James was born in North York in Canada on December 5th, 1986. I guess his parents had a pretty big door to number five on the advent calendar that Christmas. Hinchcliffe began his first steps in motorsport when he received a go-kart for his ninth birthday and would go on and compete in several regional and national karting competitions across the US and Canada. 2002 was his most successful year as he won the Junior Rotex Canada Cup, the TKC Winter Series and the TKC Junior Rotex Class Championships. The latter, he secured seven wins in seven starts. In 2003, he would move up to single-seaters and compete in the Bridgestone Racing Academy F2000 series. He would finish third with five wins, four poles and 11 podiums. In 2004, he would step up to the Formula BMW USA Championship and be crowned Rookie of the Year with three wins, four poles and 10 podiums. And in 2005, he would compete in the Star Mazda series and continue to impress and progress up the ladder with a third place finish with three wins, three poles and six podiums, finishing this as the second highest placed rookie that year. 2006, 2007 and 2008 saw Hinch complete in the Atlantic Championship. In 2006, he would get his first series win in Portland and a first series pole in Montreal, helping him finish 10th in his rookie season. In both 2007 and 2008, he would finish 4th in the series. 2007 would be all about consistency, securing 9 top 10 finishes and 2008 he would secure another series victory at Laguna Seca. In the 0607 and 0708 seasons saw James compete in the A1 GP series. He raced for Team Canada and the most impressive round of the championship was the Czech round in 0607 season. He would finish second in the sprint race and was lead in the feature race when he clashed with eventual winner Alex Young and came home fifth in that race. In 2009, it was time to continue up the ladder towards the dream of driving an IndyCar by competing in the Indy Lights Championship. He would spend two seasons in the category. In his first season with Sam Schmidt Motorsport, he would finish fifth with a best finish of second in mid-Ohio. In 2010, he would move to Team Moore and finish second overall with wins at Long Beach, Edmonton and Chicagoland, securing a season high of four pole positions and 12 top 10 finishes in his 13 starts. He was also awarded the Greg Moore Legacy Award as Indy Lights Rising Star. But now it was the time for the big stage. Ah yes, becoming the mayor of Hinchtown. Uh, no, he isn't actually a mayor. That's just his nickname. Oh. No, it was time for Hinch to make the step up to the big leagues as he would be signed by Newman Haas racing in IndyCar and he would certainly hit the ground running, finishing 12th overall with seven top 10 finishes and three top four finishes at Long Beach, New Hampshire and Kentucky. It would be enough to win him Rookie of the Year, the Tony Renner Rising Star Award, and a seat at Andretti Autosport for the following season. That's right, between 2012 and 2014, James would race for Andretti Autosport. His teammate Ryan Hunter Ray would win the championship in 2012, but Hinch would finish eighth in the standings, getting his first podiums in the series, with a third place result at Long Beach and Milwaukee. In 2013, he would get his first win in the series at St. Petersburg. He secured a further two wins that season, one at Sao Paulo, where he would make a pass on the final corner to win the race and the second at Iowa where he would dominate leading 226 of the 250 lap race. He would only finish 8th again in 2013 and in 2014 with one third place finish at Mid-Ohio he would finish 12th the lowest placed of the full-time Andretti seats 
and would see Hinch and the team part ways at the end of the season. In 2015, he would reunite with Sam Schmidt and join Schmidt Pizza Motorsports. He would have a fantastic start to the season with a win at New Orleans. But when IndyCar went to Indianapolis, Hinch would experience a crash in practice that would end his season as a piece of suspension would impale him. It is actually the focus of a documentary on the safety team in IndyCar called Yellow Yellow Yellow, which he would highly recommend. I believe you can watch that on Amazon Prime. Thankfully, Hinch made a full recovery and would compete again in the 2016 season. He would have a winless year, though the closest he would come was Texas, where he led 188 laps before finishing second. Probably more important to him, he would secure pole at the Indy 500 a year on from his crash, where he would go on and finish seventh in the race. In 2017, 18 and 19, he would have steady seasons, adding two more wins to his belt, one at Long Beach in 2017 and another at Iowa in 2018. With 23 top 10 finishes over it, over this time for the team, it wasn't enough to convince Aaron McLaren SP to keep him on for the 2020 season, where he was unceremoniously dropped in favour of the young talents Pato Awards and Oliver Askew. In 2020, he would return part-time for Andretti Autosport with an initial three races with a best result of seventh in the Indy 500, before racing a further three races, replacing Zach Veach in the number 26 Gamebridge car when he came so close to a podium and potentially a race win in the season finale at St. Petersburg before spinning under safety car and losing his front wing whilst rejoining the track. Well, that gets you up to date with Hinchcliffe's career. But now let's look at, into a bit more about James's personality. Hinch is certainly one of the largest characters on the IndyCar grid and could talk the wheels off a car, which makes it no surprise in the part-time 2020 season that he was also regularly part of the coverage team for NBC. He was also one of the first drivers to fully embrace social media and this has made him a fan favourite within the sport, earning him affectionate nicknames like Hinch and the Mayor of Hinchtown. Hence the joke from Mike earlier. Though that was a pretty poor joke, as per usual, from him. Hey! Fair point. But Hinch's popularity certainly made it an unpopular choice for Arrow McLaren SP to replace him and leave the driver without a full-time seat. But through his career, James has always maintained a close personal sponsorship with Honda. If you live in the States, he has probably been a regular face for you in their commercials. But this has also meant that finding a full-time seat again hasn't been impossible, as a full-time return to Andretti coupled with Genesis is expected to be announced in the coming weeks, allowing him to have another shot at success with one of the biggest teams in the series. He isn't just smooth on the racetrack, he's also smooth across a ballroom floor, as James Hinchcliffe competed in the 2016 series of Dancing with Stars. He came runner-up in the series, proving that he's just an all-round talented individual. James Hinchcliffe is certainly a talented driver who has shown glimpses of brilliance in the series. However, to date, that hasn't come with as much consistency as he would no doubt have hoped for. But 34 years old and a ton more of experience under his belt, you certainly feel he would grab the Andretti opportunity with both hands. At the very least, he is likely to add to his current win total in the series. But that's it from us today, guys. Remember, if there's any driver, team or topic you'd like us to look at in the future, comment below. And if you're new around here or haven't done so already, Stephen, what can they do? They can like, subscribe and ding that bell. Ding it. So for now, you indie fans, keep racing. <laughs>